Hello everyone, welcome to Infigan. In this very very exciting video of exponential equations, we will be solving an interesting equation 6 power x plus 3 power 2x plus 2 equal to 4 power x plus 1 plus 6 power x plus 1. I am going to solve this problem by two ways. While solving, I will use exponent, exponent properties, quadratic equation, quadratic formula and we will conclude our result. So let's get started by writing method number one and two powerful properties of exponents. First one is AB whole power x can be written as A power x times B power x. This is I will use. And property number two, x power A plus B, it can be written as x power A times x power B. So let's apply it. I will write 6 power x as 2 times 3 whole power x plus. Now second property I will use, I will write 3 power 2x times 3 power 2. In RHS I will use the same 4 power x times 4 plus 6 power x times 6. Now I will use this property so it will become 2 power x times 3 power x plus 9 times 3 power x whole square. Now this property is property a power b whole power c. It is equal to a power bc. This is property number 3. Same way in RHS also I will write 2 power x whole square times 4 plus 2 power x times 3 power x times 6. Okay. Now I will give substitution. So let us consider 2 power x is equal to suppose a and 3 power x is equal to b. Now see what will happen. This will become a b. So let me write a b plus this is b square. So I will write 9b square equal to a square times 4. So let me write 4a square. This is a square. Similarly, this is a, this is b and 6. So plus 6ab. So our equation will convert. Let me take all the terms to write 4a square plus 5ab minus 9b square equal to 0. Now I can split central term as, see I can write 4a square plus 5ab, I can write 9ab minus 4ab. 9 minus 4 is 5 minus 9b square equal to 0. Let us take 9 there and 4 here. So it will become 4a square minus 4ab plus 9ab minus 9b square equal to 0. So I can see from first two term I can take 4a common. So what is left? a minus b. Now what is common? 9b. In bracket what would be there? a minus b equal to 0. Now a minus b is completely out. a minus b times 4a plus 9b equal to 0. Now we have to solve this. Remember our substitution. And do not forget to like, share and subscribe our channel if you haven't done yet. So please do it right now. a minus b times 4a plus 9b. So once I will consider a minus b equal to 0, let me write here a minus b equal to 0, then a must be equal to b. What was a? a was 2 power x. What was b? It was 3 power x. Let me write here a was 2 power x and b was 3 power x. Now second equation. See. 2 power x equal to 3 power x. When it will be equal? 
when x is equal to 0. So from here we will get x equal to 0, 1 solution. Now come to second equation. It was 4a plus 9b equal to 0. That means 4a is equal to minus 9b. Let us put the value of a and b. So 4 times 2 power x, it is equal to minus 9 times 3 power x. Okay, if I will divide both sides by 3 power x, then this will become 2 over 3 whole power x equal to minus 9 over 4, which is not possible because this term is always greater than 0 because of it is exponential. So from here, no solution. So x is equal to 0 is the only solution possible. Now let's consider the second method. Second method is, let me divide this equation. Which equation? This equation by 9 power x. Let me write that equation first. 6 power x plus, let me write 9 times 9 power x equal to, I split that power. So 4 times 4 power x plus 6 times 6 power x. Now as we know, 9 power x is not equal to 0. So I can divide by 9 power x. 9 power x, 9 power x, 9 power x. Now see what will happen. In next step, I will write 6 over 9 whole power x plus 9 equal to 4 times 4 over 9 whole power x plus 6 times 6 over 9 whole power x. Here I have used one property a power x over b power x. We can write a over b whole power x. Now we can cancel the numbers. So in simplest form it would be 2 over 3 whole power x plus 9 equal to 4 times this is 2 over 3 whole square. So let me write 2 over 3 whole power x whole square by that property of exponent. Which one? a power b power c equal to a power c power b. Okay. 6 times here again I will cancel. So 2 over 3 whole power x. Now straight away it is clear. We have to consider one substitution. And that substitution is let me write here, let 2 over 3 whole power x equal to y. So equation will become y plus 9 equal to 4y square plus 6y. Take all the terms to write. So equation will become 4y square plus 5y minus 9 equal to 0. One quadratic equation is there. Don't forget our substitution and do not forget to subscribe my channel also. So let's get consider. Let's solve this quadratic equation. 4y square plus 5y minus 9 equal to 0. 4y square plus 5y minus 9 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula. Minus b minus 5 plus minus is square root of b square 25 minus 4ac so it will become plus because c is negative 36 times 4 144 divided by 2 times 4 8 minus 5 plus minus root 169 divided by 8 so i will get minus 5 square root it is 13 over 8 once I will consider plus sign in between, I will be having 13 minus 5, so 8 over 8, 1. Once I will take minus sign, then minus 18 over 8, so minus 9 over 4. This is our y. And remember, our substitution was 2 by 3 whole power x was y. So if I will write here 2 by 3 whole power x equal to 1, 
then I can write one as 2 by 3 whole power 0. So from here we'll have x is equal to 0. Now come to second equation. I can consider second equation as 2 over 3 whole power x is equal to minus 9 by 4 which is never possible because this value is always greater than 0. So from here no solution. Okay. So overall x equal to 0 by this method also we can check. Okay. Now let's verify. So I will check by x by putting x equal to 0. So where I am going to put? I will put here. Okay. Let's put the value x equal to 0. So 6 power 0 plus 3 power 2 plus 4 equal to not plus equal to 4 power 1. So I am not writing power 6 power 1. 6 power 0 is 1. 3 power 2 is 9 equal to 10. 10 is equal to 10. Hence verified x is equal to 0 is the only possible real solution. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe if you haven't done yet. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.